Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, Life is Journey, Travel It Well, by Arun Soni, author, India. Arun has penned down 159 books on computer science, including AI and cyber security. Millions of students internationally read all books. His name appears in many record books like Limca Book of Records, India Book of Records and many other national and international record books. He is also a cybersecurity expert with a Certified Ethical Hacker Certification CEH, from EC Council, US. He works for the cause of spreading awareness by conducting webinars, seminars and workshops in schools, colleges and corporates. For this contribution to computer education and cyber security, he has been admired and covered by many major news portals, magazines and newspapers such as The Tribune, The Indian Express, Times of India, Dainik Bhaskar, Yahoo News, The Economic Times, Business Standard, Ani News, The Print, Z5, Daily Hunt, England News Portal, France Network Time, Q8 Times, UAE Times, Vancouver Herald, and many others. He also appears as an expert commentator on several nationwide TV channels and FM radio. It's a long story that started in 1993 when he completed his post-graduation in statistics and was jobless. Aaron's brother used to run a stationery shop, where he refused to settle down, as Aaron knew he had the potential to do something more and else. He did a computer course from Apple, now, Aptech Computer Center, worked as a programmer, then joined a small school as a computer teacher. After teaching for a few months, he realized the books students are learning are utter nonsense, introducing the concept of a compiler to class second and teaching the paint software in class eighth. There was a scarcity of publishers with good computer books, and he did not have much choice. He started creating his own notes and was teaching from those. Then an idea struck why not to get it published. He sent it to a publisher. They called the instant meeting, the agreement was signed, and his first five book series was on the market after eight months. He also got modest royalty, and he got encouraged. So the process started. Aaron continued writing for the same publisher for the next 20 years, getting very good royalty year after year not to forget, he had the pleasure of writing from beaches of Mauritius and Goa, he also had to write sitting in the waiting room of a hospital when his father was undergoing surgery. That was the good part of life and lasted till 2016. He had authored almost 120 books on IT till then. Five years back, he got a sudden pain in his left hip. He could not sit at all. Different doctors had different opinions and diagnoses. No medical test was conclusive. He was advised to sit on an inflated scooter tube, which he had to carry everywhere. He went through all types of tests, hospitals, homeopathic treatment, physiotherapy, acupressure and many others without any success. He went into depression, thinking he would stay like it for his whole life. One doctor prescribed opium-based allopathic medicine. He got some relief. But then Aaron started taking an extra dose to get more relief and fell into addiction. After a few months, he got admitted to a addiction center to get rid of those pills. It came out clean, but pain was there, so he started retaking opium-based painkillers. Second time admission to the do addiction center was devastating. His family, career, income, everything was dwindling. He was relying on freelancers for writing, resulting in inferior work quality, and the publication started giving work to other authors. Four years went into depression, addiction and suicidal thoughts, he is getting goosebumps, thinking about that phase of his life. To cut the story short, the pain and trauma disappeared after four years on their own and with lots of effort from his gym trainer. Maybe his karma had to do something with those four years. Fortunately, he had done some cybersecurity certifications like CEH, DES, before the trauma and was into teaching cybersecurity. After recovering during the pandemic, when his publication also stopped printing books for a while, he survived by conducting webinars on cybersecurity. He 
He also wrote three books on cybersecurity for some very reputed publications, which got an excellent response from all over the world. His is now not dependent only on his old publication but has expanded his horizons to many more international publishers. Aaron learned the value of good health. He knew your immediate family stands with you in difficult times and only a few friends who used to pray for him in church. He can't recover those prime four lost years, but looking forward to bright things now. LinkedIn helped him to get some excellent friends, business associates and contracts. He will always remain thankful to LinkedIn, which enabled him to revive and rejuvenate and restart the engine of his life. He is 164 books old now and working with many top-of-the-line international publishers. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.